What's up guys? Fatty Mancy from Real Results Fitness and uh, again, if I decide to release these videos, this will be video number two of, um, I guess we could call it the Going Bankrupt series. Um, so I, uh, I've sat down with a, a friend that's really good at finances and whatnot. We went over some things and uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. Uh, if I look super red right now, <laughs> it's cause I just hopped out of the shower, not cause I'm uh, anxious or anything. But uh, if you guys didn't watch the first video, I'll kinda catch you guys up. It's, uh, I've been in business, say like seriously, about three and a half, maybe a little over three and a half years um, doing the personal training thing and then transition into online training and uh, it's just going really slow um, had some uh, some bad uh, poor decisions money wise as far as uh, kind of spending money a little bit more loosely than I should have and it's finally all caught up Hey, so I just want to touch on that really quick. Um, I never, uh, I never admitted it, and it's even hard to say it now. But I never admitted that when starting my business, I never had enough clients, like enough clients to succeed. Like I never had a business plan. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do, and uh, maybe I'll, I'll just elaborate on this on a completely separate video. But I talk about it in this video and I talk about it in another video and I just never admitted that I never had enough clients to sustain a business or even or stay afloat. And that's why I was constantly going down. Um, but I just wanted to throw that in there and uh, I'll let you get back to the video. Um, but it's, I, I guess you could say it's kind of part of the business. You know, they do say that most uh, startup businesses usually, you know, I guess fail or go bankrupt within the first five years, but that's not the plan at all. Um, I just got to uh, spend money a little bit wiser, be super tight on budget, and um, it's the holiday season which makes things even harder. Uh, the date today is October, sorry, uh, November 1st. 2017 um, so Christmas is gonna be really hard um, and that sucks but you know I dug myself this hole and I gotta get out of it somehow so you know I don't, hopefully uh, you know I pick up some clients I pick up a client or two um, in the next uh, in the next week or so um, so hopefully that happens um, I might have to I might I might have to uh, pick up like a part-time seasonal job and as much uh, you know f for you guys uh, that are watching it if again if I decide to put this out you guys might think like, oh, that's, you know, why wouldn't you do that? That's, yeah, uh, of course, that's like the no-brainer. Um, but it's, it's not really that easy. First of all, uh, it's obviously a pride thing. So one, one thing, it's a pride thing. I've been on my own for, doing my own thing for a while. And uh, it's hard to just like, okay, just stop. Um, that's one. Uh, another big part of it, though, is... When you're trying to build your, um, trying to build your brand, and you're trying to build a, uh, you know, just like a company and whatnot, uh, and then the county I live in is pretty small, so a lot of people know each other, or you know, I've been, in, I've lived in this county for a long time, so I know a lot of people in this county, or I know, or the people I know. Yeah, let's just say we have a lot of mutual friends. There's a lot of mutual uh, friends in the county. So 
building that brand and then for example I don't know let's just go say let's say I just I work seasonal uh, at the outlets or something uh, and someone sees me and they're like what what happened I thought that guy runs his own business you know it's kind of it's a hit to the ego but also I don't know how well that is for the company and for the brand um, <laughs> but uh, you know if I want to survive and that might be what all that might be what I have to do so um, you know I just want to catch you guys up uh, the business isn't gonna go anywhere I'm still gonna be running it um, and uh, actually some some big things uh, hopefully will be coming up around the way as far as uh, different programs and, and things that will apply to uh, uh, different physiques and body types and just different programs for different people but anyways that's neither here nor there that's gonna come out regardless um, yeah but I'm just I don't, I don't know where else I'm going with this I just want to catch you guys up um, I'm, uh, I'm really <laughs> I'm really, really, uh, I'm deep in shit, and, uh, <laughs> it's, it sucks, but, you know, maybe you guys can learn from my mistakes, and I urge you guys, if you're kind of, like, spending money freely, or just kind of doing your own thing, and, uh, not really looking at your bank account, not really looking at how much money you're spending, uh, versus how much, uh, money you should be spending on bills, or how much money you are spending on bills, I highly urge you to, uh, you know, have a sit down with yourself or reach out to help uh, from someone. Like, had I reached out to this person, uh, this very close friend, you could also call them family, um, had I reached out to them maybe six months ago, or even two months ago, or three months ago, um, I'd be in a much better position than I'm at. Uh, anyways, guys, just want to catch you up. And, uh, that's gonna be it for for this episode um, I'm gonna probably say this on every video in case I do decide to put it up don't forget to like comment subscribe and um, hopefully you guys can learn something from this process along the way talk to you guys later